with you I can be sad with you Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams Where the skies are so clear with you Good morning YouTube! This is Angeline's channel. There's Angeline. She is asked me to say a few words this morning and uh, let you know what we're going to blog about today. We are on the way to Farmer's Market where Angeline likes to go and get her vegetables. Fresh grown vegetables brought in from all over the place. There's uh, going to be some Asian vegetables that she's interested in getting. Some bok choy. Bok choy. And what else? I don't know some what cabbage. cabbage. She'll get some cabbage, and she's got her own little garden. Maybe you've seen it on our YouTube channel. But this is going to be big garden. It's got corn and cabbage, potatoes, everything. Tomatoes. Yeah, mine is not done. It's not uh, ready yet. So we have had a few days of really rough storms here in Columbia, Missouri. A lot of rain, a lot of winds, knocked down a lot of branches, a lot of flooding going on. So the golf courses are closed today. Farmer's market may even be closed, who knows? We'll but we're gonna go and see. And we don't really have anything else planned that I know of. Groceries. Oh, groceries, yes. We're gonna go get our groceries today. I have funny eyes. <laughs> And Angeline has black eye today. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, but uh, last night she was giving the kids a bath and she leaned over behind uh, Mr. Cole's head. As he came up, he hit her with the back of his head right in the eye. So before anybody gets any ideas, I did not punch Angeline in the eye. <laughs> She got that from Mr. Cole. He raised his head up and hit her. I want to get that out there. I don't want to... Look at that old car over there. It's neat. He's working on it. So we're going to go get our stuff done today, guys. If you want to stay with us and watch us. Um, we're going to film this today. and Just kind of do our thing. And there's another little truck. There must be a car show going on somewhere. Maybe we could go to the car show, film the cars. <laughs> I'm sure some people would like to see the cars. No. I just came back from Columbia Country Club where I got a new job or a new contract to clean it. Our, our company that we have established called A Plus Janitorial is going to be cleaning the Columbia Country Club on the weekends. So I just finalized that deal, got the keys and the codes to the alarm system, and, Find some people. and anyway, we're going to be getting uh, some people together to go clean that on the weekends now, so we'll have that coming in every week. In addition to my other job, which is the University of Missouri Athletic Department Custodial and Old Hawthorne Custodial. That's Old Hawthorne Country Club golf course. Clean up the facilities there. And, and I'm very fortunate that Angeline does the house. So she takes care of all the house. I just do the outside employment and business stuff. So guys, that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope whatever you're doing, it's a wonderful day for you. Remember that... God has already established His covenant through Jesus Christ and that all the blessings and all prosperity and health and everything is already laid up for you. And it's already been established. So, it's there. We don't have to try and get blessed. We don't have to try and get rich. We don't have to try and get healed. Or try and get healthy. It's already been established. It's there for us. It's important to get that distinction because until you get it in your mind and in your heart that you already are something, 
you'll always try to get it. And every you always come up short. You have to establish that you already are something. Okay? The guys in the, the real, uh, well, in the, the natural world, they call things like uh, subconscious. They call things like programmed into your subconscious. And those are all true things, and they, they have a statement they, they like to call law of attraction. These are all true things. They, they're absolutely true. You are established by your thinking and you attract everything based on what you are. So that's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer and the, the unhealthy stay unhealthy and the, the healthy get more healthy. It's because you, you attract things in your life that you already are. You don't attract what you want. You don't attract what you dream about to an extent you do, but you attract what you already are. So if you want to attract wealth, you have to have wealth. You have to think wealth. You have to think rich. That's why the rich just keep getting more money. Because they're already got money. And I hear you saying, you're probably thinking, well, if I don't have money, how can I attract more money? Well, it's all based on your thinking. You gotta think like you're rich. You gotta think like you already got it. When you get that set, then you'll start attracting it and you'll start making decisions and you'll start doing the things that will lead to opportunities and abundance and so forth. So, there's a lot of depth there and I'm not gonna go into the details, but just understand this, in order to get what you want, got to establish it first in your mind that you already are that. God has already provided it for us. And uh, we, can, we can walk in those blessings once we get it firmly established in our own mind that we have that. That we are that. So I'll leave you with that for right now. And that's a big nugget to chew on. <laughs> It takes a lifetime sometimes to figure that out. But you might as well start one step at a time. You know, um, my coach, Dr. Johnson, said this. Uh, how did how did the worm get on the ark? You know the Noah's Ark where all they took all the animals? How did the worm get on there? You got on there by patience, persistence, and perseverance. He got on there though. He didn't just rush on. So the game of life is a process. And it's a day by day, thought by thought, action by action, habit by habit process that eventually leads you to where you want to go. But you don't get it just like that. But eventually you'll get there if you start thinking right, start believing right, start developing good habits. And your attitude will fall in suit. So anyway, have a great attitude all the time because that's really key. You got to be happy and you got to think right. I know that sounds like cliche and oh yeah, if it was easy, I'd do it, but you gotta start somewhere. You know, you gotta start with, you gotta start with where you're at. And start thinking right, start having a good attitude right now. And then think of yourself the way you wanna think, the way you wanna be and start acting like that and think like that. Little bits of momentum will carry you into the next thought and the next attitude or the next emotion or state of mind. It just falls in line. So you got to start somewhere. Start right now. Thanks guys. We're going to be pulling into the farmer's market here in a few minutes. So we'll talk to you there. Okay.
Thanks. Okay, we're pulling into the farmer's market. Looks like they're going to be open. Uh, there's a lot of cars here. And there's lots going to be lots of booths and uh, people's got stationed. They're bringing their vegetables in and they're no. all selling them. So what are they're all selling them for whatever price. And if you want some vegetable or fruits, this is probably where you come to get it if you want fresh. And Angeline loves to come here. Because your mom. My mom always wanted her to come because they liked vegetables, they liked cooking. And <laughs> this is the. My hubby didn't want it. This, well, yeah, this is not on uh, my list of things to do, but. <laughs> Because uh, Angeline wants to do it. That's what we're doing. I kind of leave Saturdays and Sundays open for family days. So whatever they want to do, we'll do. And they have a big garden down there. See the yeah, big they, garden down some there? Some people have their gardens right down here. It's, uh, that's a community garden. Community garden. And that's the... That's the mo that's the farmers. There's a playground. That's the farmers. They have a playground for oh, the kids. Is. Well, here's lots of parking right here. You can we'll, park we'll over this. here. So we're here's... gonna go in here and get some vegetables. We'll I see guess. you a little bit, guys. Here we are, guys. You see that old vegetable they plant that in here. That's a community. Guys, I wish you could see my fish. Here's the vegetable too. Here. See? We plant that, guys. Going to the market. Going to the park, huh? Are you? Totally. You're going to, why do you bring that? Put it under there and go to the park. I want to go to the park. Okay, you stay with us. Are you going? Go by yourself. Later call, we go to the park. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of plants. Are there cherries? I want to get some cherries. What is it? Cherries? Where? Yeah, this one here. I love what is this thing? Oh, this is for uh, flowers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This is not vegetable. <laughs> Those are tomatoes, not cherries. Tomatoes over here. What's tomato you're looking for? The big one? I don't want it. I don't want tomato. Yeah, that one is. Uh, did you see that? Ah, oh, this one is a uh, diesel. Mahal. Here's the Asian veggies. Peanuts. There we go. Alubati. And... Anything else you need? I'm gonna look. <laughs> You're good. Oh, it's the same time. It's the same thing. The same thing, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I don't know how much is this when they already put on the bag. Six dollars, six fifty for a bag. Very good. Well, we just finished at the farmers market. I hope uh, you got a, a glimpse of what Angeline got. She got some little cherry tomatoes 
And what else did you get, honey? Um, bok choy. No, it's not bok. Not bok choy. She stopped at the Asian station and got some Asian vegetables. That's all she wanted. And uh, we're going to get groceries now because we haven't gotten over there this week. And this is our day to do that. Still kind of raining today, so it's not a great day for the kids to play. They they went down a couple of slides at the park, but maybe we can do something later fun for them. We'll try and see what the weather does. If not, we can always play board games. Monopoly. Chess. Chess. Inside. We can always watch cartoons. Angry Birds. Do the Angry Birds again. Incredibles. Or Incredibles, sure. Okay, guys, we'll we'll let you know uh, what we're going to do later. There's our grocery, guys. It's a lot. It's a lot. Because we got some. Yeah. mata ko bug bug serado. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mister. My name is Monkey. My name is Green. And now Green. on the way home. I sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're going home. Everyone is eating apple. Can we? Can we play?